I sent my child to school on one of the coldest days of the year with one sock. Stay in your lane. Everybody's got their own path and because your child can speak five language, whoop de do to you. Welcome in, take a seat. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ruby Sue's in the house with a bit of fluff in her is gonna <laughs> Welcome to my channel where I talk about my life as a wife, a mother, and a general wacky busybody. You're gonna get a lot of that recently. Thank you so much for all the love that you showed me in my last video where I just talked about my Christmas gift list. And good luck if you entered the giveaway. There will be details below if you do want to get involved with Smarty Box giveaway, um, do make sure you follow the rules, the guideline, the deadline and all of that shma blah, 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 blah. In today's video, I am going to get some things off my chest. About 2017, at this time of the year, we kind of reflect on the good, the bad, the ugly, the Donald Trump, the Theresa May, the oh my gosh, the oh my gosh, Prince Harry, Mary and Meghan, Merkel, Merkel, whatever, girl. Oh my gosh, like there has been so much. So we reflect on the year as 2017. Oh, I'm gonna cut off my hair and wearing wigs and not wearing wigs. Am I gonna wear them? And so much happened in this year. We reflect and I've come up with a list of mothering habits that I would like to let go of in 2017. And I think you should do too. Number one. Mum shaming. This has got to go. We do not need to be calling people out on their mothering skills. Who are you? Everybody has an Achilles heel when it comes to parenting. Some people cannot take children who are uh, a bit more sassy. Oh no, 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 I don't want to use the word sassy. People who what we would consider talking back in the sense that you know if they say if you say sit down and then they say why like we see that's answering back and some people can't take that some people can't take when children don't eat food some children people can't take when children don't follow rules there's some people can't take there's just everyone has this issue right some people can't take screaming or shouting or any sign of joy there are people who have got achilles heels about everything it is not my job or my role to blast you up on social media or on any set to say that you're a horrible mum. I remember this year there's been a lot of shaming because people talk about parents rocking up to the school gates in their pyjamas. Now, I, I mean, it's not my cup of tea. I would not be rolling up to pyjamas, visible pyjamas. When I mean visible, if they've got stars, unicorns, they say night night on there, that's visible pyjamas. If you're visible, I, I, I'm not judging you. I know some people will, but everyone's gonna have those kind of days. If it's a regular occurrence, I still will try it hard because there'll be things that you might not, I, I might be fully dressed, but I have not brushed my teeth or bathed. That's the truth. So who am I to mum shame you? And then there were lots of people talking about all these vodka, I think it was a, a news article in, um, in the Times that was talking about oh, all these mum drinking gin and, and like, who are you? Like, how hard is it to bring up a little human being? It's so hard. Like, potty training is neuroscience. It's actually, how do you teach a human being to be in charge of their bowels that belong to them? How do you tell them that, what, how do you describe the feeling of wanting to go poop? Like, how do you do that? So, stop mum shaming. Stop it. Stop it. Cut it. I actually haven't listened to that song where it says Kai. I really just pick up things from teenagers. Need to stop that. Anyway, point number. What's on my face? It feels like there's a light. Anyway, if you see it, I, ain't no laser. I think I've touched something on my lens. Anyway, number two. Number two. Mum comparison. Now I just committed this sin. I just committed this sin. I literally had to almost throw my phone to the other side because I realized I started to compare myself, started to panic. And I think it's really, really, really bad. It's so bad because everybody, stay in your lane. Everybody's got their own path. And because your child can speak five language, whoop de do to you. Well done. But like, I, I need to, I'm gonna have to unfollow some people on Instagram because I'm just constantly comparing myself to you and I just can't do it. 
So great, you're a vegan vegetarian mixed with pescatarian. I like awesome, but my life cannot compare to you. Everybody's at a different stage. Because your child is not throwing tantrums right now does not mean that they will not throw tantrums when they are teenager. Maybe my child is expressing themselves now so that when they're teenagers, they won't have anything left to express in, in some shape or form. The comparison, I think they say comparison is a thief of time time or something like that and I think we daily need to stop doing it and stop being like oh but she did this and she did that and maybe I should do this or you should do that because that's what she 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 she's doing look let she 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 do what they she 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 want but we need to do what's right for me and yeah I want to kill comparison and that rolls me on to number three which is mum guilt a moment can we take a moment for every single time where you have felt guilty because you have forgotten to do something for your child my child the other day we were on point we were in the car we were on time we were driving to school and then he looks down and says mama i have got one sock on <laughs> on one of the coldest days of the year with one sock. There was nowhere for me to go. I couldn't go back home because we would have been super late and we couldn't go to any shop to buy another sock. So I went to, and the whole day I was at work thinking, my child has probably got frostbite and has no toes left because he had one to one sock. Like, and I think it was the day of the school play as well, the school nativity play. I was like, fantastic. My child is going to now perform as Angel Gabriel with one sock and everyone's gonna look at me as that mum. And I think that we have this belief in our head that everyone's looking at us. And can I tell you a little secret? Shh, shh, come, come. Everybody's too busy thinking that everybody else is thinking about them to actually be thinking about you. So get off. The world is not revolving around you and the world is not really looking. And anyone who is looking and judging deserves or should understand that when they point one finger, there are three fingers pointing back at them. So we need to stop comparing ourselves. We need to stop comparing ourselves and stop making people feel guilty for not doing certain things. So if your child is going to school and speaking five languages and does engineering and plays violin on the weekends, what would you do to you? Don't make me feel bad because my child's not doing that. Don't make me, uh, don't ask silly questions like, what, aren't you doing that? Like, didn't you know you're not supposed to let them watch Paw Patrol for the fifth time during one day? Like, stop it. Stop. In the name of mothering love, stop, stop, stop. Four. Now I, I, I'm a breakfast drop off, breakfast club drop off mum. I'm not a, um, what's it, morning school gate drop off mum. But I've had the rare, the way my school day work. Anyway, the way my work works, I don't often get to do it. But I had one opportunity to do it and Mum drivers, oh my days. Like, you got the mum who's behind the wheel that can't see over the wheel because she's driving a four by four, she should really get a fourth fiesta. And then you've got the mums who are like, who are like, who are like Lewis Hamilton on like crack. And then you just got the mums who are just like, hey, having a nice little chit chat with the mum, like, I seriously, I was driving behind someone, another mum stopped and the other mum who was driving in the opposite direction, they wound down their windows and they're having a chit chat. And I'm like, come on, I gotta go to work. Like, I, mum drivers, park your car, walk your children to school, please. Please, 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 please. Park your car, walk your kids to school. Can we just drive a little bit more responsibility? And it's not even just mums, because I'm not gonna be about women drivers. It could be grandparents, grandmas, gra dads, fathers, uncles, brothers. Stop doing this driving situation. Stop it, please, stop it. Some of us are actually got somewhere to go. If you are just gonna go for coffee and then talk about like sesame seeds, great for you. But we, some of us, have got this to go. So stop. Fine. And my final thing is mum gossiping. Mum gossiping. Now, I think this is quite prevalent in the sense that people kind of like gossip about other people's misgivings and failings. You know, you'll, you'll see a, a parent who's who's been held behind, you know, who's been, or the teacher's like, can I have a quiet word when they've got to pick up their child? And then you're sitting there going, oh, oh 
look, yeah, that child, you know, and, and it's, everybody has an Achilles heel. I keep going back. Everybody has a situation that is a success for somebody else and a difficulty for another person, a challenge. It is not our place to make those people feel smaller because it makes us feel better about ourselves. So we need to end mum gossiping and we need to end it pretty like sharpish and I'm guilty I'm not gonna lie like if I've got an issue with someone I may on occasion have picked up the phone and be like girl you know what happened to that but that like we need to stop that because at the end of the day it could be you one day that they're going girl about and you're not gonna find it too is um too you're not gonna find it too nice so don't do it so my suggestion is you got something to say, pick up the phone, call that person and speak to them nicely and get it sorted because there's no point in, there really is no point in doing this backbiting thing. No one will succeed if you do it that way. So get out the phone, speak to them today or just don't say anything at all because one day it could be you. So on to my next video. Love your neighbor as you love yourself, but that means you need to make sure you love yourself first. Take care. See you later. Bye.